In this video, we will show you how to set up Rune as an audio input. To get started with Rune on your ISP, you will need to ensure that your processor is running 4.0 R0 or later. If your processor has an older version and needs upgrading, then we encourage you to watch our other videos on upgrading the firmware. To enable Rune as an input on your processor, access the Inputs tab in the Web User Interface. Once here, select or activate an unused source from the Inputs row. Change the label to Rune or something appropriate, and from the drop-down menu under Main Audio In, select Rune. If you would like to have HDMI video with Rune, select the desired HDMI video input using the drop-down to the left of the Main Audio In. Inputs and changes are saved on this page automatically. Now let's access the setup in your existing Rune core as we will need to allow the streaming for the ISP. Access the settings page in the Rune core or app under the audio submenu. In the Rune ready device list, you will now see the Storm Audio ISP in the list of devices that can be used. Click on enable and then provide it a name or label to use such as family room or home theater. Once complete, the Storm Audio processor will now be a part of the Rune multi-room ecosystem. You can control playback and volume through the Rune Core or Rune Remote app. Once playback is started, the processor will automatically switch to the Rune input, or turn on if the unit is in standby. Volume, muting, power, and various other controls can be accessed via the volume icon in the bottom of the Rune app. This concludes this video tutorial. Please visit us on our client portal at stormaudio.com for more information and on YouTube for more videos like these.